Hello guys, today I want to quickly show you one package that may be useful and three years ago I've shot a video about generating migrations from existing database. So the cases are that if you for example got a new project but without database migrations because previous developers didn't use them or maybe the project isn't even Laravel in the first place and you need to convert that to Laravel and generate migrations. So for those cases the package Xethron Migrations Generator was really useful back then, but it became abandoned. So last change on that was four years ago. But recently I found out that it was cloned and continued by this author, by Kit Long. And here's a demo for you of a package that works in Laravel 8. So all you need to do, for example, you have a database, you need to install that package with Composer Require. And in this case, I have a small project, small database with a dozen of tables or so with products and other related attributes and let's try to generate migration for them. So imagine that your folder database migrations is empty and let's empty everything. Meanwhile our package is installed and all we need to do is just run PHP artisan migrate generate. There are more configurations that you can use but it's not necessary. Let's just try it out. We launch that do you want to log in the migrations table? Let's say no, and it generates the migrations from database. First, it generates the schemas of the tables and then separately foreign keys, which makes a lot of sense because the order of tables and foreign keys is important. And now we have database migrations full of real migrations and let's try to re-migrate them. So what happens if I launch PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh? Would those migrations work? perfectly. If we refresh the database now, we have all those tables. So migrations are launched as if they were new and tables seem to be created without data, of course. So be careful with that and be careful with the package because it generates database migrations contents and may conflict with existing migrations if you have any. So this package is used if you don't have any migrations mostly, but generally it works. And of course, you can exclude some tables. For example, if some migrations come from the package, then you should ignore those. And for all the list of options, you may run help migrate generate and experiment with that. So that's it, a quick demo of a package. If you have any more suggestions on what package to review, shoot in the comments below. And also you may find out about new packages from my weekly newsletter, where every Thursday I send around 20 or so links around Laravel, Laravel news, Laravel new packages, releases, articles, tutorials, including my own videos if you missed any. So the link to subscribe to that newsletter and join 5,000 more subscribers is on the screen and will be in the description of this video. And see you guys in other videos.